Hello, people. You're with Bob. Yeah, the guy in Toronto. The grumpy old gentleman want to talk about soundtracks and scores. Now, as far as I know, I don't I know everything, but uh, a soundtrack is basically music. Like uh, with uh, words, uh, you know, songs, people sing and stuff like that, right? As far as I know. And a score, as far as I know, is just all music, score, music, right? There's no songs, there's no singing. Now, I could be wrong. Like, sometimes I am wrong. But I think that's what it is. So I'm going to show you some, a uh, couple of scores and some soundtracks. And I'm not trying not to show you ones that the other guys have already shown. Um, because some of them I have, so I'm trying not to show, but, you know, I can't remember everything. So I'm going to show you mine. So here, here we go, okay? The original soundtrack from the new motion picture, Elvis. Vocals by Ronnie McDowell. Starring Kurt Russell, Shelley Winters, and Pat Hingle. And Susan Hubbley? I've never seen much of her anymore for a lot of years and years and years. But uh, Shirley Winters was a big, uh, big movie star back in the, I guess, 40s and 50s and 60s or whatever, but yeah. So this is a very good, very good. Uh, Ronnie McDowell does a lovely job on the soundtrack. Let's put this down here. I don't know whether that was just a television movie or they're talking about the soundtrack, because it says here, as premiered on TV, so maybe it was the record that premiered. I, I can't remember. Now, as far as I know, this is a score. Title music from Clockwork Orange. The Theban Magpie. Theme from a Clockwork Orange. Ninth Symphony. Some, the Second Movement. March from a Clockwork Orange. William Tell Overture. Abridged. So, yeah. Pomp and circumstance. So I would presume this is a score. Now I haven't played this in a while. But uh, there it is. Clockwork Orange from uh, 1968, I believe. And I presume this is a score. Barbarella. Now, I don't know who that is. That's not, uh, what's her name? Fonda. Jane Fonda, that's not her. You can tell by looking. That's not, that's not Jane Fonda on the cover. So this is a score. And it doesn't have the words or anything, it's not anything on the back. It just has them mostly on the front. Yeah, Barbella, the angels love the black, the black queen's beads. I love all the loving you, love drags me down. Saber dance in the hall of the mountain king. Dance macabre, Turkish march. The young lovers. This is, this is uh, the hit songs of the wild movie. I haven't heard this in donkey's years. So I don't know whether this is a score or a soundtrack. Anyway. Yeah, Barbara Bella. Maybe it's songs. This is definitely <laughs> songs, right? This is uh, from the FM uh, uh, movie. What year was this? Oh, I can't remember all the years, and sometimes it's hard to see the years, even if you have your glasses on. Um, double. Uh, I guess there's two albums in here. Yeah. Yep, two albums. So old, man. I gotta clean this and put it in new plastic. That's what I've been doing for a long time. Cleaning albums, playing them, putting them in new plastic. Takes a long time though. Boston, more than a feeling. 
Jimmy Buffett, Libid Stone, Saturday Night, Doobie Brothers, it keeps you running, the Eagles, Life in the Fast Lane, Don Fogelberg, there's a place in the world for a gambler, Foreigner, Cold as Ice, Billy Joel, Just the Way You Are, Randy Meisner, Bad Man, Steve Miller, Fly Like an Eagle, Tom Petty, Breakdown, Queen, We Will Rock You, Linda Ronstadt, Tumbling Dice, Poor Poor, Pitiful Me, Bob, Bob, Bob Skaggs, Lytle Shuffle, Bob Seeger, Night Moves, Steely Dan, FM, Do It Again, James Taylor, Your Smiling Face, Joe Walsh, Life's Been Good to Me, very good album, gotta listen to this and clean it up, and, but yeah, I've, I've, I've been doing that for a long time, here's one here, Sammy Davis Jr., Original Motion Picture, Score, this says Score, Sample copy, not for sale. Johnny Cool, original motion picture score. Now, I presume this is just all music, but I haven't heard it for a few years, so I don't remember. But this is an all score, see? Henry Silva, his first starring role. He's been in a few movies, but this is his first movie starring role that he's. The, you know, the top guy. Crazy movie, but it was all right. Johnny Cool. Yeah, I haven't heard them for a while, so sometimes I don't remember. Most, I mean, I know most of them are music, right? And a couple of ones are hard to tell whether they're just music or score. Here's one, here's one for you. Still sealed. Haven't opened it and played it yet. Maybe one day I will, who knows. The original motion picture soundtrack from the Living Daylights. Yeah. The Living Daylights, performed by AHA. The sniper was a woman, so I don't know, but I, I know, definitely know that AHA, that's a that's a music that's you know that was a 45 I'm pretty sure a 45 picture slave I remember right but yeah so what year is this uh, we shouldn't go by years because it takes me 1987 so I've had this for a while still sealed anybody want to give me 50 bucks you can have it for fifty dollars Here's one here, Beat Street. See, I'm trying to find the year. This is probably 85 or something. 84, 84. Harry Belafonte and Dave Picker, Back Street. Music produced by Harry ben Belafonte. Now, I don't even know if I've seen this movie, but it's this one's sealed too. <laughs> yep. Baptize the Beat. Strangers in a Strange World, but can't keep talking about them all. There's some, uh, there'll be a long video, so yeah. Cutouts, eat a little BBO. Yeah, this is 50 bucks too if anybody wants to buy it. I sell sealed albums for 50 bucks. This one, this one here, this is uh, The Wiz. The Wiz. Double album. I think it's a double album. Was it a double album? No. Yeah, side three. Shit. Fucking thing's missing an album. Well, that's, that's a poster, I guess, and something. Where'd the other album go? <laughs> it's missing an album. Jeez. Yeah, it's a, yeah, this is the double album set. Let's see what happens when you look through your albums. It's like, what the hell did I do with the other album? There's a first free on, on video, right? The dummy's missing one of his albums. 
Oh, this is not. This is not missing. No, this is all. This is all here. Woo! See, all cleaned up. Put in new plastic. Put it back in the sleeve. Yeah, I need what do you call it? Plastic for it for itself. Oh, but yeah. Wizard of Oz, 1939. When did this come out? I forget what year this album came out. Like the album itself. But yeah. There's Dorothy. The Wizard of Oz. Selections from MGM's Technicolor film. Starring Judy Garland. The original soundtrack album. This has been reissued many times. I don't know if this is the original one or not. I think it is. But hey, I'm not sure. What do I know? What do I know? But yeah, side one, yeah, side two, over the rainbow, the witch is dead, ding dong, the wicked witch, the wicked out witch, the wicked old oh, witch, yeah, the wicked witch is dead, I, oh, I, yeah. Anybody know what this album is? Yeah, that was a fun album, eh? Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees. Holy moly! Errol Smith, Alice Cooper, Earth, Wind and Fire, Steve Martin, Paul Nicholas, Billy Preston, the original motion picture soundtrack. The Long and Winding Road, Peter Frampton, A Day in the Life, Barry Gibb, the Bee Gees, Golden Slumbers, Peter Frampton. The original motion picture, 1978. Yep, Here Comes the Sun by Sandy Farina. I don't know who that is. Me, Mr. Mustard, Frankie Howard. I think that was an English gentleman from over in England. Yeah. Oh yeah. So there you go. Sound soundtrack from the movie. I don't. I don't think I ever saw this movie. I don't think I have ever saw this movie. Don't, never saw it. The Alamo. I think this is from 1960. Yeah. There's some uh, songs in it and a lot of music. Yeah, Marty Robbins sings the Battle of the Alamo. The Brothers Four sing the Green Leaves of Summer. So, yeah. Overture, there's an overture, main title, David Crockett arrives. So a lot of the music you hear in the movie, right, it's in here. Ballad of the Alamo, Marty Robbins, The Green Leaves of Summer, General Santa Ana, David Crockett, John Wayne, yeah. Charge of Santa Ana, Death of David Crockett, Final Assault. The Alamo. Contains the hit single, Barroom Buddies. The original music soundtrack from Clint Eastwood, Bronco Billy. <laughs> what year is this? I don't know. 1980. This one's still sealed. Still sealed. See, it has never been opened. And it's a cutout. Yeah, this is 50 bucks too, just in case anybody would want to buy it, you know, send me cash, eh? 50 bucks, people. Can't go wrong. Clint Eastwood and Bronco Billy. Featuring songs by Merle Haggard and Ronnie Millsap. Did I see that movie? I don't think I ever saw that movie either. I don't think so. That was this one. Everybody knows this famous scene with Mickey Rooney. On the second floor, Mr. Yazanoshi. Yeah, Mickey Rooney with the buck teeth. Man, was that ever embarrassing. It's still embarrassing today. Yep. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Patricia Neal, Buddy Epstein, Marty Balsam, and Mickey Rooney, George Papard. Music from the motion picture score composed and conducted by Henry Massini. So is this a score or is there songs in this? See, I can't remember that. 
I haven't heard some of these for years. But, you know, some of them, you know, that there, it is songs, right? Of course, this is songs, right? I think Mike, did Mike show this? Or was it uh, Jay? Was it Blue Jay? Blue Jay. Blue Jay Jay. Yeah. I think it was Jay. I'm not sure. Yeah, John Cafferty and the Bieber Brown Band. Good band. A lot of good music on this album. On the dark side. Kind of reminds me of Bruce Springsteen a little bit. You know, it shouldn't, shouldn't be like that, but it is. Yep. Best Value Series. Wild Summer Nights. Tender Years. Great stuff. This is a good movie, too. Yeah, the second one's not not that great, but this is this is all right. This is a sleeper. Nobody went and seen this like like Jay said. I think that not too many people went and did a show. But I don't even know if I went to the show. What in what year was this? Eighty-five, eighty-three, nineteen eighty-three. Wow, that's old. That's as old as Mike. This one, Beverly Hill, Hills Cop 2. Beverly Hills Cop 2, Corey Hart. He's Canadian, eh? Just in case you didn't know it. Eh? Wrong glass. See? No ice cubes. You know what that means, right? There's no whiskey in that. Yeah, Jermaine Jackson, The Jets, George Michael, Pebbles, The Pointer Sisters, Ready for the World, Bob Seger, Charlie Sexton, Sue Ann, Fun Time. Yes, great, great, great songs. Yeah, I Want Your Sex. I Can't Stand It. Make Up Your Mind. <laughs> 1987. I think I got the other ones too. I think I'm pretty sure I do somewhere. I think I do. Oh, this is the good one too. Pretty in Pink. Nineteen eighty-six. Pretty in Pink. Oh, John Hughes. Pretty in Pink. John Cryer, Annie Potts, James Spader, and Andrew McCarthy. Yeah, Molly Ringwald, Harry Dean Stanton. So much good stuff in here. Yep. Yeah, if you leave. Left of center. Yeah, get to know you. Another great soundtrack album. Yeah, I've had this one for years. A lot of these I've had for years. Some of them I bought them when they first came out. Like this one. Dirty Dancing. Nobody puts baby in the corner. 1987. Hungry Eyes, Love is Strange, Where Are You Tonight, In the Still of the Night, Yes, Stay, I've Had the Time of My Life, Great, Great Movie, Great Soundtrack, Another One, Around the Same Time Period, The Same Year, You Can't Go Wrong with La Bamba, La Bamba, performed by Los Lobos. Come on, let's go. Oh, my head, we belong together. Framed, Donna, Lonely Teardrops, Crying, Waiting, and Hoping. Yeah, Summertime Blues, Who Do You Love? Yeah, Charlena, oh, Charlena, Good Night, My Love. Fantastic soundtrack, fantastic movie. It even made me cry at the end, at the end, with that music thing and his mother and stuff. I'm getting upset right now talking about it. Cry, you're going to cry when you see that movie. Oh, you won't cry when you see this one. Light of Day, this is still a, this movie's hard to find. I can't find this movie. I've looked for it and I can't find it. I don't know why I can't find it, but I can't find it. See? Oh, it's still in the plastic wrap. Oh, it's not sealed. I've listened to it, right? So how much did I pay? I paid six dollars and ninety-six cents for this. Light of day. This is this is something I'm not around this movie. This is a fun movie and a great soundtrack. Lots of good stuff on there. The Bar Busters, Light of Day. I I have the 45. Good song. This means war. 
the Bar Busters. Dave Edmonds, stay with me tonight. In Hunters, Cleveland Rocks. Cleveland Rocks. Bon Jovi, Only Lonely. The Bar Busters, Rude Mood. Yeah, oh, great stuff. The Bar Buster, it's all coming down tonight. Michael J. Fox, you got no place to go. Yeah, he does that, nice. Yeah, great movie, great soundtrack, yeah. Yeah, what year is this? I don't know, 80, 87? No, I don't know. Oh, what did I say the year? I don't know what year this is. Does it say the year? See, I don't have my glasses on. At least, uh, 87. See, I was right. I was right the first time. That's three from 1987. Well, this is not from 1987, right? Walt Disney. In! Mary Poppins, buddy! Mary Poppins. Overture. The Perfect Nanny. Sister Suffragette. Glennis Jones. Johns. Yeah, The Life I Lead. Dick Van Dyke as Bert. What year is this? It doesn't say, does it? 1960-something? Yeah, lyrics by Richard Sherman and Robert Sherman. Mary Poppins, Julie Andrews, Burt, Dick Van Dyke, Ed Wynn, Elsa Lanchester. Good movie, good soundtrack. Limited edition preview, original soundtrack, all PC, whatever that was. I think it might have been in there. Radio station or something? I don't know. But yeah. Mary Poppins. Here we go right here. Look at this. This is the double album. I think these were singles before. They put them together and made double albums. So uh, I think that's what happened. The, those glorious MGM musicals. Two complete original soundtrack recordings. Singing in the Rain, Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds. Yeah, they're singing this. That's great stuff. Urban Boleyn's Easter Parade, Judy Garland and Fred Astaire. Fred always gets the young girls. You ever notice that? The older Fred got, the younger the girls. Yeah, true story. He's 50, she's 25. What do you want? That's great. Yeah. Singing in the rain, June Kelly, fit as a fiddle. Good morning, good morning, yeah. And what is this? Sleeping out, stepping out with my baby, a fella with an umbrella. Yeah, Easter Parade, great song, Easter Parade. Now oh, we're almost done. You can go to sleep later. Popeye! Movie didn't do very well at the box office. They released it this year a while ago on the Blu-ray. It's a very slow movie and it's not really good, in my opinion. I've seen it years ago. I don't own it and I don't really have any intentions to own it because it's kind of boring. But anyway, other people like it. You know, everybody has an opinion and it is what it is. Still in the plastic shrink. Right, still wrapped up in the plastic. I've had this for years too now. Why did I buy this? I don't remember. Was it songs? I am what I am. Popeye. No, you are got to love Popeye. Popeye's been around for a hundred years. Yeah. Popeye's been around for a hundred years. I used to have a Popeye I don't know if you want to call it a doll, but I think it came out around 1910, something like that, 1912. But it originally belonged to my mother's brother. He kind of stood sideways. He was like rubber, made out of rubber. You know those rubber, um, I think they were rubber, and looked like rubber balls, like little round balls, but it was all rubber. Had his pipe in his hand, he's standing sideways. But over the years, it kind of, what do you call it, evaporated. You know what I mean? It, it actually fell apart. It dissolved. It kind of like dissolved. A little bit here, a little bit there. But it belonged to my mother's brother. My mother gave it to me. My mother's brother drowned when he was like 
I forget now, I think he was eight or ten years old, something like that. My, my, my mother had it for years and she gave it to me. And I had it for years, right? But uh, it just dissolved. I have another, I have another doll, uh, one of those, uh, looks like a, well, it's, it's something like a Cupid doll, but it's, uh, oh, Hen, you know, Henry, the bald-headed kid with the red t-shirt and the blue, the blue shorts, I have that. My mother gave it to me, and it was my, uh, um, like her brothers, right, her, her brothers, right, so I still have that. I have that put away in my drawer somewhere in the bedroom, but yeah, some stuff you have, and that's over, that's got to be, oh, well, when did Henry come out? I don't know how long ago Henry came out. Pretty, my mother gave it to me. So. Yeah, I know, I forget. Top Gun! 1986. A lot of good music in this one, too. A lot of hits. Kenny Loggins, Danger Zone, Lover Boy, Lover, Have It In Your Eyes, Cheap Trick, Berlin, You Take My Breath Away, Errol Faltermeyer and Steven Stevens, Top Gun soundtrack, Miami Sound Machine, Tina Marie. This is all a lot of good stuff. Yeah. This is on TV today with commercials. Saw it earlier this morning. I usually don't watch movies. I, no, I don't really watch movies with commercials. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Man, this was the thing back in the day. And for years and years and years and years, this thing was playing at some theater somewhere. Yeah. And there was people there singing away. <coughs> Rocky Horror. Yep. What year is this? 86. Well, I don't know. I can't see the year. Anyway, it's as old as I am. Rocky, music from the original soundtrack. Transvale in the uh, parties. Action packed romance. <coughs> I only seen that I only seen that once at the theater, one time on Down Friends Avenue. This one. Back to the beach. This is fun. This is a fun soundtrack. Yeah, what year was this? 80s, 83? I think this was 83. Mike probably went to the show and seen this. I didn't. I, I don't think I went. Uh, oh, pardon me, 87. Another one from 1987, but it does have good songs on it. Right? It does have good songs on it. <laughs> Eddie Money, Catch a Ride, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Dale, Dick Dale, Pipeline. <coughs> <clears throat> there you go again, making videos and copying. I don't know why I did that. Annette, Jamaican Sky and Fishbone. Hey, I was 13 or 14 years old, a little boy going to the show in the early 60s to see Annette and Frankie. Well, not really Frankie, right? Mostly Annette. Can you blame me? No. There was a lot of boys at the theater watching these movies. It was even fun watching, uh, what's her name? Singing Sunshine, Lollipops, and Rainbows. That was the first time I heard that song. Yeah, what's her name? Uh, oh. it was, the song was only about a minute and, I don't know, what was it, 38 seconds or a minute and something? Started singing at the back of the bus and just got the front and went to the back again. It was all over. I'm thinking, man, what a nice song, but it wasn't went by too fast. <laughs> Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbow, and everything that's wonderful. And, yeah. And this is the last one for the day is Who's That Girl? Madonna, 1987. There must have been a lot of musicals all in 1987. And I paid. Seven ninety seven for it at A and A's on Young Street next to Sam the Record Man. Yeah. Who's that girl? Original motion picture soundtrack. Madonna. Oh well that's fun. It was all fun back then. I don't think I saw this at the show. I saw this movie of course, but not I don't think I saw it at the show. Alright people, that's Soundtracks, 
mostly soundtracks, of course, and it could have been a couple of, what is it, scores in there. I haven't scored in years. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Have a good Sunday. Play some music. Watch some movies. Kiss your girlfriend. Have a drink of Coke. <laughs>